Women's Tour in Australia and some of the organizers when we like released the tour plan. Uh, we got some uh, concerned organizers emailing us saying, do you know how big Australia is? No, <laughs> like, no, no, said, no, never been there. <laughs> we said, yeah, because uh, we have had some long drives. Um, this morning we drove for four hours and we were driving like we had a travel day between two gigs, which was like 12 hours drive. But the thing is like in Sweden, I would dare to say that in Europe, Sweden is the like longest and that the, like the country where you drive the most. Mm -hmm. You never like go from west to the east, you, you just go, go south. Yeah. 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 So for us it's like to drive four or five hours, not a problem. To do a day driving 12 hours, like it's from where I grew up to our summer house, it's a 12 hour drive. So it's like, it's a very small country, but a long country. So if you go to Belgium, I have a lot of Belgian friends saying like, driving for one hour, you have to pack like some food, it's a long drive, you have to <laughs> <laughs> take a break. So I mean, if someone would travel here from Belgium to do a tour, I would understand if the organizers would be concerned. <laughs> um, but this tune is a tune I wrote when I was in the situation when I was driving back and forth on the same road, day after day. Quite, it's not a very beautiful road. Uh, it's called Route 83. <laughs> 